That's what I think it's time to just kind of like buy two cents and um, this new daily show host Trevor Noah and he has been like comments on Twitter he blasted Jews and, and all that and now that the stir well, uh, David Freeman of Stir fame has uh, slammed he had ripped this uh, Trevor Noah, the host of Daily Show, and he said, and I quote, uh, Percy Lauer, to serve from David Dream, has worked Trevor Noah, newly named host the Daily Show. He was going to so far as just to inflict physical harm on the comedian if he made certain jokes to his face. Let's see what Lauer has uh, pointed out. This is exclusively of Lyle Wire. I had served advice from a David Durant, passionately kind of expressing his views of different social and political topics. Or at least that led Dream to hop on the Scottish Horn. The new host of the Asian Trevor Dole, who has taken some heat posting controversial tweets about Jews over the past week, over the past years. Noah said to take over the part in the Daily Show host John Sturgeon's tweets posted over the last six weeks include almost both the Jewish kid crossing the road he didn't even look before, before crossing, but I still felt so bad in my, so bad in my German car. And speaking about soccer, Leon Messi, he wants to see Messi gets the ball on a real player is trying to foul, but Messi doesn't go out easy just like she was chicks. David Dream posted several more of those tweets of questions of players. Toronto still for Jewish, for his Jewish heritage has spoken well against anti Semitism over the years, also made an appearance of voice Israel is her and the player below wants to discuss the topic of those comments for if you want to go ahead and be a funny guy go ahead happy on your show says Dreamer go ahead and start spewing answers and or Jewish jokes while I'm on your show somebody's gonna get up end up in the hospital somebody's gonna end up in jail I'm gonna show you three guesses of who that is going to be Dreamer will not add a you one of the felt that the Edison had become fashionably the ad. The media continues to spin the stick Israel and Jews of war monger, evil people, which we were not. And that's because something that we, well, something that, when people use quickly, use quickly rise to condemn it, they more, more and more being me like this lack of discipline and the kind of something to, that is offensive to mass folk, which is very disturbing. You hear more dreams to with the voice of Israel about Chernobyl and Citizens player fire blow. Let's just take for a second just the reason why um you know the thing about Trevor Noah and nothing against him. Just because he's a comedian he made jokes about Jews and all, and, and, and that really upsets people. That upset David Dream and uh, the stir device. You know why? Like the old saying goes, why can't we all just get along? Why? Like how is a guy like Trevor Noah who just became the host of the Daily Show and posts all these controversial tweets about Jews and all that? You know what, like I said, nothing against Trevor Noah. He's a well he's a well good guy. He's a well great comedian. I I I'm, I highly uh, express him as a really great person, a really great uh replacement for John Stewart, but making all these tweets about Jews and all that it's like Where's the uh, expression goes? We live. We, it's a freedom of speech. We're supposed to say what we want. Oh, just because it uh, it uh, gets on people's skin and, and, and it really just it really just makes other people kind of like angry. Like, oh, this person said that. Oh, this person said this. Oh, what's what's the idea of it? Like, it's a freedom of speech. It's not just saying, oh, you can't say this, oh, you can't say that. Really? I, I, I think 
day of dreaming for what he said in a statement. Just to reiterate what David Dream said in his statement, according to Trevor Noah. If he wants to go ahead and be a funny guy, go ahead. Happy on your show, says David Dream. Go ahead and start smoothing your anti Semitic or Jewish jokes while I'm on your show. Somebody's going to end up in a hospital. Somebody's going to end up in jail. I'll give you three good guesses who that's going to be. I think David Dreamin. I think he had. I think he really crossed the line. Cause you can't say that to a host on a show. Say, oh, if you're gonna say that, start start spilling your anti-Semitic jokes while well, well, your show. I'm gonna put you in the hospital. I think that's a. I think, in my mind, that is a threat for a guy like David Draymond, who just said that. Just did that to a new host who just going to be start taking over her daily show. I think if I was David Dreaming, I would publicly apologize because you can't say that. Really, that that to me in my mind, that is a threat. That means I'm saying, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you in misery. That's what David Dreaming is really saying in that statement.